morning students how are you hope all are good welcome back to easy btech channel today i am going to explain two more important problems about lagrange's mean value theorem before that please like share and subscribe our easy btech channel so prove that using lmvt only using lmvt prove that x greater than log of 1 plus x greater than x by 1 plus x for the intervals uh, uh, 0 comma x okay yeah the proof of this one solution part so at first choosing the value of f of x is uh, log 1 plus x so as usual you know very well the first condition is verifying continuous it is a uh, logarithmic function then f of x is uh, continuous f of x is continuous on a comma b that means here the value of a comma b was given as uh, 0 comma x here then a second one finding the differentiation of uh, given question then 1 by 1 plus x that means uh, f of x is uh, derivable f of x is derivable on open intervals of 0 comma x so of course you know very well now what to have to write here if it is continuous and derivable then there exists at least one element at least one element where that element is c belongs to open intervals of 0 comma x such that such that so what is the formula students for f dash of c in lmvt f of b minus f of a by b minus a is equal to f dash of c very good so here the value of a is equal to 0 and the value of b is x by using the given conditions then the value of f dash of c using the derivable condition that is 1 by 1 plus c yeah and f of a substitute the value of a students that is f of 0 that is log 1 plus 0 that is log 1 so you know very well about log 1 value that is 0 then f of b so in the place of b that is x then the value of f of b is 1 plus x because b is x only then according to the lagrange's theorem f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a so f dash of c is 1 by 1 plus c and f of b value that is log 1 plus x minus f of a that is 0 and divided by b minus a that means x minus 0 what i did here students simply i substitute all the values of f dash e to f of b f of a b minus a in lagrange's mean value theorem condition only then 1 by 1 plus c is equal to log 1 plus x divided by x so please remember this value that what is that value 1 by 1 plus c is equal to log 1 plus x by x so we know that c belongs to the intervals 0 comma x it is the main condition here then uh, 0 less than c less than x so we need here 1 plus c adding 1 1 plus 0 1 plus c and 1 plus x less than condition as it is only and next one uh, 1 by taking here so if you are applying 1 by here the symbols will be changes less than becomes as a greater than 1 by 1 plus c greater than 1 by 1 plus x so we know the value of 1 by 1 plus c substitute the value 1 greater than log 1 plus x divided by x greater than 1 by 1 plus x so 1 greater than value here and now doing the multiplication with x here so x greater than log 1 plus x greater than x by 1 plus x so what will happen in the middle term if you are doing the multiplication with x so the middle term me log 1 plus x by x is there if you are doing the multiplication with x here 
then x will be cancelled uh, the term the middle term value is log 1 plus x only now this is the uh, proof of the question here so the one more proof so using lmvt using lmvt and prove that using lmvt prove that 1 plus x less than e power x less than 1 plus x e power x where x greater than 0 this is also important question for you all proofs in this theorem are very very important for you f of x is equal to e power x yeah yeah correct first condition is verifying continuous only then f of x is continuous because it is exponential function only now so if we continuous on a comma b that means a comma b means here greater than 0 was given here that means the closed intervals of 0 comma x then f dash of x exponential function differentiation is exponential only then f of x is uh, derivable f of x is derivable on open intervals of x comma 0 comma x only the next thing i have to write here then there exists at least one element at least one element that element c belongs to 0 comma x such that the condition is students f dash of c is f of b minus f of a by b minus a yeah very good here the value of a is 0 and the value of b is x so using the second condition the value of f dash of c is e power c the value of f of a f of a is 0 e power 0 1 and the value of f of b that is f of x that is e power x only you are now finding the value of f dash of c so f dash of c is students here f dash of c is e power c yeah is equal to f of b f of b is e power x okay and minus f of a is 1 very good divided by b minus a that means x minus 0 substituting all values f dash c f of b f of a b a and next thing e power c is equal to e power x minus 1 by x yeah remember this value okay and we know that here the c belongs to 0 comma x yeah now we need the value of e power c here to do the substitution of e power c value we need e power c here then according to the condition 0 less than c less than x so e power c we need here then applying exponential functions e power 0 e power c and e power x e power 0 is 1 less than substitute the value of e power c here e power x minus 1 by x and less than e power x and again doing uh, multiple with x here both sides for the uh, inequality terms doing multiple of x so x less than e power x minus 1 less than x e power x what will happen to the middle term e power x minus x by x into x x will be cancelled remaining term is e power minus x well. and adding 1 here then if you are adding 1 1 plus x less than e power x less than 1 plus x e power x that's the proof so if you are adding 1 here this is the middle term now then 1 plus e power x minus 1 both values will be cancelled that is equal to e power x it is one of the very very important proof for you and thank you for watching